Hello everyone and welcome to this last video of this particular playlist of Power BI tutorial and in this video we'll be creating various visualizations and completing our dashboard and we'll be submitting to our client so let's get started has approached us again and he is requesting that please add a visualization a map visualization in which he can see what was the amount of sales in each state simultaneously he wants to know what was the segment what were the segments which perform well in which particular state so how can we do that let's see how for performing these type of visualizations, Power BI actually provides us with a default map visualization such as map and this field map. Now the basic difference between the two is that in map, the Power BI will gather the data of like cities, countries or states and represent that in a form of points on this whole map. And in case of field map, it will use shading, tinting or patterns to display how a value differs in proportion across the whole map or it will use a shading that ranges from light to dark. Now in this video we will be focusing on this map feature. So let's see how it's done. For using this map feature, we will click on the map and as usual it will pop up a blank visualization. Now over here in the location section, will input our state data now whatever state will be there power bi will capture these states and represent all this all the data in form of the points now we want to see what was the amount of sales which state had for that purpose we'll grab our sales and put that in the size option as you can see the larger the radius more the sales is represented but now this doesn't look that great so what we'll do we'll go in this format option go in the bubble section and we'll increase the size of the bubbles which looks pretty well than earlier there was another thing which client is expecting from us that is he wants to know which particular segment was performing well in which particular state so for that purpose we'll use this segment section we'll use this segment grab this segment and put it in this legend now as you can see we have three segments that is consumer corporate and home office we can clearly see that in california the consumer section was performing way better than corporate and home office and similarly likewise for each and every state now apart from this, we will also provide a visualization in which we will visualize that what was the preferred ship mode across the whole country or in a particular state. Now we have three types of ship mode that is standard class or first class or second class. To visualize this, we will use the pie chart. When you will click here, you will get a blank pie chart over here. Now in this legend section, you will put your ship mode while in this value section you will put this country as you can see we have got a pie chart for which ship mode was used dominantly in the whole country as you can see the standard class is used around more than 50 percent in the whole country now coming towards the last visualization we'll be visualizing what was the sales in each country in a tabular form when you want to represent any data in tabular form, we must click on this table option. I'll just rearrange it in a while. Now, whatever data we need to put here, we must add the data in this value section. For example, in our case, we need to see the sales in each state. So we'll grab our state and also we'll grab our sales. We can see our data is represented in this tabular form. You have got our data in tabular form, but there is another way we can represent our data in much more interesting way. We can do this by selecting this table. 
we can go in the sales option we can click this bottom arrow and here comes the concept of conditional formatting and this conditional formatting will use the background color will change the background color of our sales so that the lower sales will be represented in red color while the higher sales will be represented in the blue color for that purpose we can simply change this light blue color to the red color but the problem which occurs in this situation is that there is a direct transition from red to blue so for that purpose we'll click on this diverging so that we can have a smooth diverging from red to blue we'll choose the middle value as light blue over here and we'll click on ok as you can see the lower sales have been represented as red color while the higher sales are represented in blue color we'll just sort our sales and as you can see the top sales are ranked first while the lowest sales are ranked below as you can see we have created this beautiful dashboard which will be submitting to our client now how can we submit that so we have got the publish option over here in this we'll publish our report online in the power bi services so whatever which we were using was power bi desktop which was absolutely free but when we publish this into power bi services that is actually paid version of power bi the project which we were working on was actually quite simple the playlist was made with a beginner's approach intention was just to give a simple glance about how the projects are executed in reality or in practical scenarios first of all the data is not that simple it's quite unstructured there are lots of pre-processing required for the data to extract the clean data secondly the visualizations are too complex sometimes anyways a simple way to get better at power bi is simply exploring and practicing the features the more you explore the more you learn this is this was all from my side if this playlist helped you in any way please do like and subscribe and share your genuine feedbacks in the comment section if you know anyone who needs to learn basics of power bi do share this video and thanks for watching bye bye